Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning, it's 6th of December, and for our Advent reading this morning, we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. Let's hear God's word. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favoured woman, the Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David's. He will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, your, Eliz your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. The word of God will never fail. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. Amen. An amazing story. Imagine um, Mary with an angel appearing to her. It said, do not be afraid. And it's understandable that she would be scared and frightened. Here is Gabriel standing before her, the same angel that appeared um, to Elizabeth's husband in the temple and telling her um, that she is going to have a baby. I mean, look at Zachariah. He, he, he disbelieved and he couldn't speak. And now here's Elizabeth being told that she's going to have a baby. And that he's going to reign over Israel and he'll be given the throne of his ancestor David. A lot of times we confuse that throne as being the physical throne um, which David ruled on on earth and over the, the, the nation of Israel as in the 12 tribes. We lose the meaning of what God is saying here. That it's his kingdom and the whole earth and that Israel is all who will follow him and believe him and trust him and how he, Jesus, this little baby who's going to be born, is the son of God. Mary must have been so confused but at the same time she was so blessed to be chosen by God, to be the one who would carry her, his son into this world, to be the one through whom we would have a Christmas. It's going to be a difficult road for her, it's going to be a hard road but it was one that she would trust God in. Just at the end, whenever Mary says, I am the Lord's servant, may everything you have said about me come true. She accepted it. Not like Zachariah who questioned it and, and who was made to be silent until um, John is born, but Mary accepted God's plan and God's will. That's like us. We need to accept God's plan for our lives, his will for us, and get on board with it and be enthusiastic about it and do what he has called us to do. That's certainly what Mary did. A journey which was very hard for her times, I mean, ultimately watching her son on the cross, but a journey she accepted. Let's pray that today we accept the journey that God is taking us on, and that through all the ups and downs, he will show us his will. Through all the ups and downs, he'll be able to, to use us for his glory and his honour. So let's pause and let's pray. Father, thank you again for the start of a new week. Thank you for Monday morning. Um, as, we, as we start into this week and as we wonder about what this week will bring, what lies ahead, Father, we know it's in your hands, in your control. And we know that you want to use us in that. Lord, just reveal it to us one step at a time because if we saw the whole plan, we couldn't cope. So just let us see it one step at a time. Help us to be enthusiastic about it. Help us to want to be in, in part of your plan 
And Lord, may in everything your glory be worked out, your will be worked out, so that in everything people would see you. Lord, thank you. And continue with us today, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Great to have you online. Um, for anybody else who's watching later on the day, I trust you have a good day. Uh, in the meantime, take care. God bless and see you again tomorrow morning. Bye for now.